honestly, but I just remember there were so many times in my life when I was so lonely. You know, I didn't really have a, a real stable family growing up, to say the least. Right. So, it just means so much to me. I wasn't sure I'd ever have a family of my own, but then you came along. You changed everything. You were the first person who I could ever see myself being pregnant with. I mean, you know that, but I just... I could never get over it that we actually had a baby. Mm-hmm. So am I. She doesn't normally fall asleep this quickly. I guess she wants us to spend extra time together today. <laughs> I know, I know, she has been getting better about it, but still. Every extra minute that I have with you is highly appreciated and I'm always going to value our time together, no matter how many kids we have. Oh, honey, you don't ever have to worry about that. No. I'm always going to make time for you. Yes. Doesn't she look adorable? I know, she smiles in her sleep. I really do think we have the cutest baby. I know everybody says that, but just look at her. She's a precious little angel that belongs to you and I. Oh, we should probably go and let her sleep, shouldn't we? <laughs> Likewise, I can't stop staring at her either. Even though she looks more like you already. She does. <sighs> That's true, I know, we can't really tell yet. She might look like me more in time. <laughs> I know. We've been talking about getting a dog for so long and... This is what we get. I love Rusty, and he's going to protect our little girl better than, well, when we're not able to. I mean, how many of those videos did we watch of dogs taking care of babies? <sighs> Look at those sweet little cheeks. <laughs> oh, I think she has daddy's cheeks, can't you tell? She might have my forehead. Yeah, you see the way that it curves, like right over there? That's kind of like mine. <laughs> oh, I just can't wait to watch her grow up. We're gonna raise her so good. We didn't rush into it like some people do. We took our time and we made sure we were both ready. We always talked about having a baby at our highest point. Not only when we were most financially stable, but as connected as we could be. Even though the fire between us has never faded in the slightest. Never. You're always going to have me on your side. Mm-hmm. We're a family. That's what families do, babe. Not that I'd really know, based off of my, my past, but... After you showed me what unconditional love is really like... What it's really like to feel that way. To feel so loved by somebody, no matter what happens. When I felt that from you, I just wanted to make a baby with you. <laughs> make a few in time, of course. But it 
it just, it felt so right. It was like, if he could show me unconditional love, then he can show our kids that too. Well, that's what I've always been holding out for. That's why I never wanted to settle for just anybody. And I'm so happy that I waited for you. You gave me the most beautiful child, too. And I love the dynamic that we've developed together. Like, when you can only give 20% on a certain day, then I'll make up for it. I'll give 80%. I'll always try to pick you up when you feel down. Or, if you feel down and you don't want to do the dishes, or you just don't have the energy for something that has to be done, then I'll do it. Because you've always been that way towards me. <laughs> That's why I knew you were the one for me, because you reciprocate everything that I do. That's how I knew that you were going to be the father of my kids, baby. And look at us now. Our beautiful little baby girl. Sleeping so peacefully. While well, mommy tells daddy how much she loves him. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I remember how you were with Rusty when he was just a puppy. You remember? <laughs> I could already tell then what a good parent you'd be. Yeah, you would, you would never get mad. You were so understanding. All right, all right, all right, fine, let's go. No, I don't want her to wake up. Well, I do, but like, I do want to spend some more time telling you how amazing you are. I feel like I've known so many people that just they get worse and worse over the years. And then there's you. <laughs> You're finally that person in my life where things just got better and better with them. We just got stronger and stronger until we finally decided to have a baby. Oh. Okay. You know how much I cherish our alone time together. And although her waking up wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, I must say, I really love these little moments that we get to have alone and just reignite our passion. Oh, that's never ever going to burn out. I can tell you. I know, I know. I have all night to stare at her. All right, all right. Let's leave her for a little bit and go into the kitchen. Oh, maybe you can plop me up on the counter. Would you? Oh, all right, all right. Let's go then. I'll try to stop thinking about her for a few minutes, at most. That's just what moms do. And I know that, I know that you'll be doing the same thing. Don't act like you won't be. <laughs> well, we are still learning how to divide our time, you know, between taking care of her and making sure that we take care of I'd never let that fall by the wayside. <sighs> All right, come on, let's go to the kitchen. 
I know, what a bummer. I'm always going to have to watch how loud I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs>